Hello and welcome. Since Barista uses Amazon Web Services in order to render projects, we need to make sure to set up AWS in order for Barista to, to work correctly. So to do that, we need to set up a user on our AWS account. Now, if you don't already have an AWS account, pause the video and go to aws.amazon.com and create an account. Once you've created an account and logged in, you should see the AWS Management Console like we're seeing on the screen now. Once you're in the Management Console, let's create our user by going to the IAM service. Now, I see it here in my recently visited services, but because I've already been in the account, so let's search for it up here and choose the IAM service. And next, we're going to go to the Users option here on the left and then Add User. I'm going to call this user Breeze to Test. And I'm going to select Programmatic Access. I don't want to select uh, Management Console Access because this is going to be specifically used with Barista. And since Barista only needs programmatic access, there's no sense uh, enabling console access as well. Next, I'm going to go to the permissions and attach an existing policy. Now, to keep this simple, I'm just going to add administrator access. If you would like to have uh, more discrete, discrete permissions, you can go into the documentation into the AWS section and find the exact permissions you need. Otherwise, just select administrator access and move forward. We're going to go ahead and skip the tags. And looks like everything's fine. We don't have a permission boundary, programmatic access, user's fine. And so we'll just create user. So here's the access keys. And I want to go ahead and download this file and save it. And I'm going to put this in a safe place where no one else can get to it. These particular keys give access to your account, which you only want Breeze to have access to. So be sure not to share these keys and just uh, keep them aside for Breeze. Now that that's set up, we also want to set up the Cost Explorer. If you want to be able to view how much you've spent on your account, now this is a new account, so we're not going to uh, be able to set it up per se, but we can go ahead and see what we need to do. So as you can see, I'm searching for cost up in the search bar. I'm gonna to go to the AWS Cost Explorer service. And since this is the first time being here, we get this message saying that it's gonna take 24 hours to set up. Now, this is not an issue. This is just something that happens when you create a new account. And when you return the next day, all you're going to do is choose Launch Cost Explorer. And that's all you have to do. No problem whatsoever. Like the Cost Explorer, some other services may take some time to initialize with new accounts. Even so, Cost Explorer is the only one that takes 24 hours. Others, you may only have to wait about an hour after creating the account. This usually is an issue, but keep in mind if you have issues when you first start using Barista. With all this out of the way, we can then use these keys in Barista in order to start Ritter.